I told her that uh, she was loved, and I said, God bless. Hmm. His body language is not tell- good. Telling. Not good. Everything go all right? Oh boy. Mm. He's my prime suspect. Doesn't look all right. <laughs> Folks, welcome back to you, me, and the TV. And she's not the mayor of East Town. She's mayor of East Town. Yeah. And what happened last week? Oh boy. Lots went down. Yeah. Evan Peters joined. Now he's the out-of-town mm-hmm. detective coming to help out. Mayor's ex-husband may have slept with the murder victim. Yeah. Frank. It may be her baby. And then His baby. Uh, right. Yeah. That's what I meant. It's definitely her baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, her dad went ahead and killed uh, her, her ex-boyfriend. Yeah, so he drove him out Whoops. to the turnpike and told him to run and shot him in the back. So we're going to have another murder oh, victim boy. to discover. and A lot of people going to jail, probably. What's Mayor going to do when she finds out Frank's been... Uh, it's going to be a tricky one. Sleeping with students. Yeah. Yikes. And he just got engaged. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yikes. Should we jump in and see what's next? Please. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Mayor of Easttown. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below. Find early access to our videos. Find comment or access to both subs. Pick more sex. Link down there. Check it out. Let's watch Mayor of Easttown. Here we go. Right, they're gonna have to give him back to her mo- his mom. Mm-hmm. Approximate time of death between midnight and two a.m. What time was it? Midnight and two a.m. I was so tired last night. I okay, just... Billy, it's not your fault. I took the fucking gun. Jesus Christ! Oh, so he didn't come home. That would have been better, <laughs> probably. There's no evidence to suggest she was sexually assaulted. No semen was found inside the body. No evidence of vaginal or anal trauma. Why was she naked then? What about the missing finger? Appears to have been severed by a bullet. I sent the fingernail scrapings out to the lab, huh. along with the underwear, but I'm not confident we'll find much. Yeah, so she went up to block the shot and... Yeah. Ken! Hey, Ken! Kenny! Kenny! Not dead. Did he know where she was at? Must have. Mayor must have told him. I got him. I got him, Johnny. Got who? Dylan. Kill that son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Come on, it was 28 degrees that night. Why mess around the freezing cold when you can take it to the backseat of a warm car? Yeah. Aaron wasn't murdered out in those woods. She was, she was killed somewhere there. else and her body was dumped there. Yeah. Does her dad know where they found her body? I'm I sure Mayor said where the body was found. In the <sighs> creek, right? I had my gun with me. I made him drive out to Leahy Road. I shot him. I killed him. I killed him. For killing my little girl. He had nothing to do with your daughter. You didn't kill him, Kenny. Dylan Henchy's alive. Yes. The bullet went through his posterior flank. Fortunately, it didn't hit any organs, so we performed a laminectomy. Is he gonna walk again? Once he regains consciousness, we'll begin to evaluate for any deficits. Your son is very lucky that he was brought in. Who brought him in? Yeah, who found him? Was the did the cousins go get him? The first time I realized my brother was different was when my mom took us to see Harry Potter. Oh, film. Nana said I might need to live with my mom. Well, she is so silly. It's not gonna happen, all right? You're gonna stay right here with us, always. 
trying to let him know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Window looks pretty great, huh? Yeah. She's a fucking fruit Only ninja. Your place, Mom. Me. All right. Has a, a place to is stay. It's so fucking out of line for you to be telling him stuff like that, Mom. Men's. Please, there's a mother. She can't keep him at a halfway house, though. I'll figure something out. What's there to figure out? Grandma's just trying to figure out what her situation was. Hey. Hi. Get ready for a doozy. Want a beer? Sure. You're gonna need one. Picking up on a weird energy in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cut it out, Mayor. Jesus Christ. Can I talk to you for a minute? That's your cue to fuck off. Jesus. <laughs> Next time she goes to church, I swear to God, I'm gonna take all of her stuff and I'm gonna fucking burn it. <laughs> Please. Well, that's what I asked her, and she said she didn't want to come to you because. What? She thinks the real father is Frank. Frank? My fr. What? And she said that he got out with diapers and wipes and formula and brought it in for her and I just why would Frank do all of that and then tell her that he just got a feeling that it's, things Clark weren't great at were. home oh shit oh. don't go now Mayor don't stop me please please oh, don't Jesus. Shit. she's in the worst mood to do this <laughs> hey Mayor can, can we talk Aaron McManaman, you said you never really talked to her? It was a lie. Excuse me. I better go talk to her now. <laughs> Ew. Well, we could have this conversation a different way. What different way? I'm investigating her murder. Or not, when Faye's son is here, who Excuse just me. got here from California. It all fucking What's going on? Ask your father. Take it to your house. He knew Aaron McMenamin when he told me he didn't. And there's a rumor he's the father of her baby. Oh, Jesus. I'm just gonna say it right out loud in front of everyone, okay? Yeah, I helped her out. It was after Kevin died and I bought her a few things. Did you have sex with her? Mom, are you fucking serious right now? Jesus. Besides, where the hell do you even hear crap like that anyway? Lori. Someone told Lori. <laughs> Are you willing to take a paternity test? Oh boy. I'm not afraid of their test. It's like I'm not afraid to talk about our son. You believe him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, if it's all she's her friend saw was him taking baby supplies yeah, into the house after. It's not good enough to be yeah. like he was boinking her. A year before that. I understand, but I'm investigating a murder right now. So I'm sorry, but I, I do need to be sure. This could help his case. Okay, okay, we'll talk to Dylan. Hmm. I already love that grandbaby. Yes, if it is theirs. Um, will you submit to a DNA sample? Yes, but I want you to know something, Detective. I never had sex with Aaron McMenamin, and I certainly didn't kill her. Was he going to take the DNA sample? Oh, I guess maybe it's just a swab, huh? Yeah. Cheek swab. Frank's here with Faye. Best to not just lose your shit at work, too. She's, she's a loose cannon, really. Morty. Happy to see ya. <laughs> How's it going, Faye? <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Timestamp records from Aaron McManaman's cell phone. Last call made was at 10.55 p.m. After the fight in the woods. Who'd you call? Deacon Mark Burton. He's a priest at St. Michael's Parish. I thought he looked fishy. The way he answered those questions to the other... Hey, 
Well, not him. And him? finally heard the call of God. Detective Zabel. No, that's Dan. Yeah. Michael's also happens to be my cousin. Nice to meet you, Father. You as well, Detective. Yeah, when he was asking Deacon those questions, he was answering them really fishy. So what do we do? Do we bring him in? Nope, we're going to question him right here. In church. Yeah. Yep. Makes it harder for him to lie. Exactly. Pardon? Well, 16 year old girl with friends and dad. I mean, why call Deacon Mark and say Michael? Seems kind of like an odd choice, right? I don't see it as odd. No, I, we had a relationship. A friendship that began while well, she was in our parish youth group. That's a weird way to say it. Does that, um, does that worry you at all, Deacon? I mean, you know, being alone with a child and with all the recent reports. The optics are a little weird. So I, I don't ever see it as me offering mercy. It's Christ himself working through me. I'm his vessel. Just so we're all clear, was it you on the phone with Aaron or Christ himself? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I told her that uh, she was loved. And I said, God bless. Hmm. His body language is not tell good. Telling. Not good. Last thing. Will you give us consent to look at your cell phone? Well, we can head back to the station, get a warrant, come back for it. Get DNA swab while you're at it. Right. <laughs> Five, two. Have a nice day. He just gave her his phone. Everything go all right? Oh boy. Mm. He's my prime suspect. Doesn't look alright. <laughs> but why would a Dinkin shoot her? Is he a peeping Tom, maybe? Oh, is he the guy in the hoodie that's going around town? Maybe. Hey, you know what you should do? You should parade him right past Frank's house. You know, maybe grab his ass. <laughs> oh, Richard, uh, come on in. Hi. Mayor. Aren't you gonna introduce us? Uh, <laughs> Helen, of course. Maris told me all about you. That's a lie. I literally really? told her about you 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that didn't take too much coaxing. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> Good night, Helen. Good night. Bye, Richard. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm just pressed. Uh, edibles kick it in. <laughs> I just wasn't sure. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh. God. Just puked on herself. I'm sorry. I'm oh. so, so sorry. Oh. I'm, I think I have an extra sorry. sweatshirt. Gaybard, help us out, man. No, no. He's gonna throw up now, too. Guys. Arms up. Arms up. Back up. Come on. Pee. <laughs> Don't pee your pants. That is not going well. Why did you become a writer? Oh, uh, well, my home life was shit, you know, my, um, my mom was basically a string of major depressive episodes, you know. Oh, he's gonna have a book after he, after he dates her. His next big hit is gonna be about her. He was a detective. Really? Yeah. You know, if he'd been a bartender, I would have been a bartender. Well, at least you still have your mother. Oh, we can't stand each other. <laughs> Come on, you live together. That's why they can't stand each other. I think you ought to sit with Drew's mother and, and, and tell her that you want to be part of his life. And if it feels like you're, you're conceding something or whatever, he's your grandson. You don't want to lose him. <sighs> Ma'am, you gotta talk that kind of stuff out. As much as you can. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, your purse. purse. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> yeah. Did they play? I am assuming. Oh, yeah, that's me asking you out on a date, Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. Is she seeing her bandmate? Yeah, I think so. A group of kids were playing football and came across it. Oh, jeez. We get the canine out. He's here now. Alerted to something over by the amphitheater already. So this is where she was shot? Yeah. Away from Craven Creek. There's no way she would have biked that far. Someone must have picked her up. Brought her here and then took her back. Yeah, that's why we're calling out the firearm canines. You guys even have firearm canines? No. No. <laughs> County does. Top-notch dogs, too, from what I hear. 
Call him, buddy. Need someone to make the call. Those bullets could be half a mile in any direction. Mm -hmm. Not likely. You're kind of in a bowl, it looks like. If right? one hit head, it would have not gone that much farther. The part kind of looks like it's sunken in, too. All six firearm dogs out of Brainywood Park, ASAP. Six? Dude, I don't give a shit if they're off, dude. You gotta get me these dogs. <laughs> Gotta find your clothes and the weapon. Bullets. Yeah. You see that neck? Yeah. It's a ricochet. That angle. It's a weird angle. <laughs> She's good. She's a big bullet. I'm gonna walk around, see if they're asleep. Mrs. Mom. Hey, hey, I'm sorry I brought it up, okay? But I think you should do the test to be sure. What do you think? Do you think Dylan's the dad? Well, well he's, he's one of those people that leaves town you so and you find out ten years later that he murdered somebody uh, down in Florida. Do you mind? As a child. <laughs> and you say, yep. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not wrong. <laughs> Do you see his face? Is he looking at me? Yep. yep. Is he still? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did he hear you? You really think Frank had anything to do with this, man? No, but then it, she can definitely mark it off her list. 2.30 in the morning. Singing Uptown Girl. He took a piss in the closet. <laughs> okay. In there. What's he found? Ballistics. Circumstances of the transfer. What does that mean? It means he was at one parish and got shipped off to another for mm -hmm. a reason. These diddling little kids. No one's home. She was there to talk to her cousin, right? Mm hmm. So you're starting to question it now? How could you not, you know? I want those removed. Right now. Settle down, babe. Settle down? What if it was your penis painted out there? <laughs> the big deal is they don't even look like yours. <laughs> Did you get that uh, security camera set up, Mr. Carroll? Yeah, yeah. Let me get my glasses. Oh, they got security camera. Terrible. Got him there. <laughs> Still don't seem like it's working, Mr. Carroll. What do you mean it's not working? Big surprise. <laughs> Covering for the kid. Did Frank tell you about the ticks we've been noticing recently? I don't care about any of that shit. Well, I don't want to give him up. He's my son, goddammit! Mine! Not yours! Kevin fucking hated you. Oh, jeez. Do you know how much he despised you? Well, that's not gonna let her back off. So yes, I want my son back for me, but also for Kevin. Because he deserves a lot better than you. Ouch. You think Brianna could have done all of that on her own? Not on her own, but... I mean, Dylan could have helped her. Jigs! <laughs> Give me a Coke. May only get one more chance. Once Di sees nose are sniffing around, he'll lawyer up. What about texts before he was born? Like a year before. Nine months before. Yeah. There's a dump site out that way. That's where her body was found? We brought her home. That's all that matters. I'm just thinking about that girl that's still missing.
drugs from evidence. Yeah. So are they for her? I don't know. Or she get them to put them on Andrew's mom. Maybe. She's gonna go on the date. Is that concert ticket still available? Yeah, yeah, it's still available. But your girlfriend's gonna be pissed. Maybe they have an open relationship. Hmm. How are you? Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, drinking. It's the uh, post game. The High Raiders, class of 05. What are you doing? What about you? What's going on? He is wasted. She called off two weeks before the wedding, but what are you gonna do? That's why he's drinking. <laughs> nope, I don't love with you anymore. Okay. <laughs> Let me put my bagel down. <laughs> well, here's what I thought it would be. And. Here's what it actually is. He needs a hug. Am I making any fucking sense? Totally. But you were a good mother. No. No, I wasn't. Dave! Dave! Shots! Fuck ya! <laughs> I don't think he needs any more shots. No kidding. I think it was stay here with you. <laughs> no. Hey, I talk you out of that bad thought? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cheers. To nuts. <laughs> Hopefully somebody gets him home safely. Yeah, he's like one shot from passing out. Yeah. They drugs for her? I think that's the bad thought she's contemplating what to do with those drugs. Mm. I think she wants to plant them on Andrew's mom. He's got her bike. So he killed her? Definitely. And he probably killed the other girl too. Yeah, probably. Wonder where that timeline lines up in his transfer. Transfer to East Town. What's going on? Let's talk outside. Oh shit. What for? Get your coat on and come outside. Uh oh. Late last night out in Kennett Square. Cops found two packets of heroin in her glove compartment. She swore the drugs weren't hers until she described the stamp on the heroin packets. A stamp I remember from the Barnett case last year. So I'm gonna have a conversation with the DA about withdrawing Carrie's charges. Part of me wants to make sure you never wear a badge again. Oh, come on, Chief. I'm placing you on administrative leave. Ooh. Gun and badge. Oof. He didn't talk her out of her bad idea. She was just about to break the case, though. I could feel it. She's gonna Axel Foley this shit. Just <laughs> more dramatic. She's a, she doesn't even walk around with her gun and badge. Because she knows everybody in the town. And everybody knows her. She, I'm sure she has both. I don't feel like I've ever seen her pull her badge out. This is your mind to keep going on the McMiniman case? Don't do it, Mayor. Don't do it. Eeks. Well, that's not going to help her case in oh, the custody battle. God, no. 
I mean, I think she had a, a good case when her mom said she, she didn't care about its ticks. Right. I think that's a good cause for negligence. Mm-hmm. But, oh boy. Well, it's the deacon. Is yeah. That, is that where? I think so. I knew it the second I saw him. No. After that sermon. Yeah. It's like, this guy's stinky. Weird. Something weird about him. He's stinky. He stinks. Stinks like a rat. Yeah. Or something. Man, well, they were just about to, like, dig into him more. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe the county guy can continue that. Yeah. He's going to be asking for her help. I feel... He's, he's got like a connection with her. Mm-hmm. He respects her, especially after she found that bullet. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh damn, she's pretty good. How long is she going to be suspended for? I don't know. I don't know how you come back from that. It's uh, a real fuck up. Yeah. Boy. What's on your mind? Just yeah. feel bad that so early in the season she fucked it up so hard. Yeah. We're three episodes in. We got four episodes left. Okay. So right at the middle point, she's off the off, off the, the case. case. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if we we'll have like a time jump or something, or something like that, or we just see her off duty now. I don't know. Dealing with more life stuff, but there's just so much information that was coming in on this case right here with the ballistics and the DNA and the leads that they were following. Mm-hmm. Kind of sucks that. She's off of it now. All squashed like a bug. Yeah. Oh, well, because... She couldn't just let it be. Yeah. She had a bad idea and she went through with it. Mm-hmm. Dang it. Well, I'm enjoying this because Kate Winslet is playing... Like, I've never seen her play somebody so mean before. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. the closest is probably her character in um, Eternal Sunshine. Yeah, she plays. Yeah, she plays pretty unlikable, right? Yeah, she's but at the same time, she's like, she's, she's likable, but you see all of her faults, correct, and you can see yeah. why nobody else likes her. Mm-hmm. But you also see why maybe people are, shouldn't be giving her such a hard right. Time. Why she yeah. has those faults? Yeah. yeah. So she's a very complex character. She's doing a great job. Clearly, she had her faults before her son died, though. So yeah, interesting. And I think uh, she was trying to use this. Andrew is like a second chance at Kevin. Uh, yeah, I yeah. imagine. She's trying to do the, right, the right things. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hmm. Interesting. This drug planting, though, was not the right way to do that. No, that was an epic fail. Yeah. All right, well. well. What should people comment on after this episode? Should she get her badge back? Yeah. Does she deserve to get her badge back after that? What do you think? I don't know. I think well, no. It's kind of a big... Uh, Big Mm uh-oh. Then again, small town. Not really many options on who to be the next detective. Yeah, makes it worse, I think. Let us know what you think about Mayor's suspension. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Come back next week for another episode. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, one comedy access, full subs, big watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.